Welcome to the MicroMotion How-To Video Series. In this video, we will cover how to use the integrated web server of the 5700 Ethernet transmitter. The learning objectives for this video are the following. Understand how to connect to the web server. How to configure the transmitter outputs, engineering units, and Ethernet settings using the web server. How to download historical data, the configuration audit, totalizer, and alert logs and how to run and schedule smart meter verification using the web server. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the appropriate MicroMotion transmitter configuration and use manual, located on the Emerson website. The 5700 Ethernet transmitter integrated web server can be accessed using a PC, tablet, or smartphone by entering the IP address of the transmitter in the web browser address bar. The default factory IP address is 192.168.0.1. In this example, the IP address has been changed from the factory default to 192.168.1.211. When the transmitter is found, the login page appears. Select Admin or Operator and enter the login credentials. Two users are predefined, admin and operator. You can change the passwords, but you cannot add or delete users. Complete access can perform operator functions, such as meter verification, zero verification, starting, stopping batches, starting, stopping totals, and resetting totals, can view and make changes to transmitter configuration. Limited access can perform operator functions, such as meter verification, zero verification, starting, stopping batches, starting, stopping totals, and resetting totals, can view transmitter configuration but cannot make changes. Once the transmitter homepage appears, you can select the language setup for the web page and change the displayed variables shown on the Process Monitor tab. Selecting the Alerts tab, the user can view active alerts and download the full alert history. Viewing the alerts history, the user can see when the alerts occurred with the date and timestamp for each alert. The 5700 transmitter has an integrated real-time clock that is used to time stamp alerts, totalizer logs, and reports. Selecting the Operations tab, the user can view totalizers and inventories, reset totalizers and inventories, access to the Proving Setup Wizard, and monitor two-phase flow detection as the following. Single phase, accurate and repeatable measurement, moderate entrainment. Meter may be outside accuracy specification, but measurements are repeatable. Severe entrainment, measurement is likely neither accurate or repeatable. Selecting the Configuration tab allows the user to configure flow variables such as mass flow and volume flow. Temperature and density units can also be configured. Time, date, and tag allows the user to configure the integrated real-time clock setting and tag information. Ethernet settings allows the user to configure the Ethernet protocol, which can be changed from Ethernet IP to Modbus, TCP, or Profinet. The IP settings for the transmitter can be configured to match the user's network settings. The inputs and outputs setting allow the user to change the channel type for channel C as a discrete input, discrete output, frequency output, milliamp output, or set to none. Channel A and B are configured by setting the Ethernet protocol, which is found in the Ethernet settings menu. Power source for channel C can be changed as passive or active. Source, flow units, and frequency scaling can be configured depending on the channel type selected for channel C. The Totalizer and Inventories menu allow the user to configure Totalizer source and flow direction. Totalizer History Log allows the user to select the totalizers to be logged, along with the date and time. There is also the option Clear Totalizer History Function button. The Transmitter Display menu allows the user to configure the transmitter language, backlight, and auto-scroll option. 
The security menu allows the user to issue a password for offline and alarm security, along with assigning the passwords for the admin user and operator user. The device information menu shows the software revision for the transmitter and the core processor along with the licensed features. The Service Tools tab contains tools for simulation, verification, testing, as well as diagnostic information about the sensor and transmitter. The Verification and Calibration menu allow the user to verify the zero of the meter. If the meter passes zero verification, a new zero is not recommended. If a new zero is recommended, the user can calibrate a new zero, restore prior zero, or restore factory zero. If a new zero is recommended, please follow the complete set of instructions in the configuration and use manual for your transmitter. The sensor and alert simulation menus allow the user to enable simulation mode if necessary to send a fixed value or waveform to communicate to the user's control system and simulate alerts for testing or troubleshooting purposes. The Download Device Files menu allows the user to access the data that is stored in the transmitter. Audit Trail, Alarms List, Totalizer History, and Data Historian Files are a highlighted sample of the extensive information that can be accessed from the 5700 Ethernet transmitter. Simply select the Prepare for Download button. And when the data is ready, the download link will appear to the right of the web server screen. Selecting the download link for the audit trail shows a report of the dates and time of when changes to configuration were completed. Selecting the download link for the totalizer history shows a report of the dates and time when the values changed for the totalizers and when they were reset. The data historian file reports 18 variables including flow, density, temperature, and meter diagnostic information such as drive gain and pickoff coil voltages. The historian data logging begins automatically when the user powers the transmitter, ensuring the user to not miss critical data points for troubleshooting purposes. The license manager menu allows the user to view the device's unique identification, current license key and licensed features. The user can choose to upgrade and add features to the transmitter using this information. If the meter is licensed permanently or temporarily as a trial for smart meter verification, the smart meter verification menu will be available to the user. The user can choose to run smart meter verification, schedule, or view the smart meter verification history. Smart meter verification is easy to initiate by selecting Run Smart Meter Verification. The user can select the output behavior and monitor the sensor operating conditions. Selecting the Start button initiates Smart Meter Verification. Once Smart Meter Verification is complete, it will notify the user if the meter has passed or failed this diagnostic meter health test. Selecting Schedule Meter Verification, the user can decide when Smart Meter Verification should be initiated automatically on a schedule by choosing the hours between the next run and hours between recurring runs. The SMV History menu shows the user the report of when the diagnostic was run and the result of that SMV diagnostic test. In summary, you should now know the following. How to connect to the web server. How to configure the transmitter outputs, engineering units, and Ethernet settings using the web server. How to download historical data, the configuration audit, totalizer, and alert logs and how to run and schedule smart meter verification using the web server. For the complete set of configuration instructions, please refer to the Micromotion Transmitter Configuration and Use Manual, which can be found on www.emerson.com.